What up, y'all? So Young Buck addresses 50 Cent in new song and video ashtray. Young Buck has a message for 50 Cent. The Cashville rapper is preparing for the release of his new project, Back on My Bullshit Volume 3, which drops on Friday, February the 26th, and features Boozy, Sada Baby, T Grizzly, Burner, and more. With his first single and video, Buck dropped ashtray, which is produced by Drummer Boy and is aimed at 50 Cent. In the track, Buck takes multiple jabs at 50, saying that he signed him to sabotage him and that he took something from him. The hook suggests that Buck is coming to collect what he's owed and will ash on 50 during the process. So guys, have you listened to the track? Do you think Buck is coming to collect his money from 50 Cent? Do you actually think that 50 signed Young Buck in order to sabotage him? I'm going to be honest. I don't think that um, 50 signed Buck to sabotage him. I think that it was just a bad business deal. You know, and I think 50 Cent... I mean, guys, I think things just went wrong for the whole G-Unit crew, right? Because obviously out of all of them, 50 Cent is the most successful one, right? There's nothing going on for Banks. There's nothing going on for Yeo, and obviously Young Buck is still trying to do his um, music career, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, if 50 owe Young Buck some money, he should pay him, you know, but I I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen, right? Because I think 50 Cent would rather file another bankruptcy than pay Young Buck any money. <laughs> Well, leave y'all comments. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Are you feeling Young Buck new track? And do you even think that 50 Cent will actually respond to Young Buck? Because we all know that 50 like to pull the tranny card on Young Buck from time to time. And obviously 50 Cent is like a um, hip-hop bully, I would say. You know, but at the end of the day, maybe he finally met his match because Young Buck isn't giving up, you know. But maybe 50 Cent will just ignore him and maybe Young Buck will just focus on himself. But let's watch and see how this whole situation turns out. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is Tekashi 69 basically taking aim at Cardi B. Now, Tekashi 69 comes for craven criminal Cardi B. Tekashi 69 isn't afraid to bully a girl. Yesterday, he took a break from his regularly scheduled baiting of Meat Mill and Chirac to take shot at Cardi B. 6 9 subliminally brought up notorious clip of Cardi claiming she used to drug and rob men before she was famous. Now, he said this, If I took women to hotels, drug them, and rob them, would I still be cancelled or would I be cancelled? 6 9 wondering, applying the shade. Of course, 6 9 was notoriously involved in implying an underage girl with drugs and alcohol and recording her engaging in sexual acts. He got probation and escaped cancellation. He's also Team Nikki, so he always relishes the chance to take a shot at Cardi, whether from Instagram or at the witness stand. <laughs> So guys, what do y'all think about Tekashi going at Cardi B, man? Cardi B doesn't see this dude, so I'm not even sure why he's just going at her. I think this guy is just, I'm not sure if I should say chasing attention because he has a good following on Instagram, right? But you, I guess with 6 9 you can never have enough followers. You know, he actually made a post bragging about how much followers he have, more than your favorite rapper and this and that. You know, but at the end of the day, we're kind of used to Tekashi 69 now, and this shouldn't surprise anyone. We'll just have to wait and see who else he's going to take shots at. But leave y'all comments, let me know what y'all think about this. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed, and make sure you turn that bell on. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.